I'm Vladimir Buksan. I come from the Department of Nutritional Sciences and Faculty of Medicine, University of Toronto. Um, I'll be talking about diet and herbal supplementation in diabetes. I work in St. Michael Hospital, showing on the picture. Uh, we are concerned about diabetes. Uh, today, approximately 350 million people live with diabetes, with the incidence on the rise. Current treatment involves diet, lifestyle, and polypharmacy. At the same time, despite the lack of evidence, there is increased use of dietary supplements used in addition to prescribed medicine in self-management of diabetes. Our group focuses on assessing the effectiveness, safety, and feasibility of dietary supplements, including medical herbs, in management of diabetes. Preliminary data of our studies demonstrate that both American ginseng grown in Ontario and Korean red ginseng, then conja glucomannan blend, viscous fiber, and salva chia omega-3 seeds reduce glycemia and prove risk factor of cardiovascular disease beyond uh, standard medical care. So when we think about diabetes, diabetes is not only high sugar in the blood fasting or postprandial after meal, and it's not a lack of insulin or too much uh, not sensitive insulin, but number of other factors including uh, lipids, blood lipids, blood pressure, 70% of people with diabetes have high blood pressure, and something called dyslipidemia. But also emerging risk factors of cardiovascular disease, including inflammation, fibrinolysis, endothelium dysfunction, coagulation, etc. The goal of our team is to develop novel, non-pharmacological multifacet therapy, because diabetes is syndrome, a lot of different risk factors, which utilize different mechanisms of action and that work beyond conventional medicine because we add on supplement to existing medication. That should be knowledge transfer, means that is applicable for general public, should have less side effects that are typical for hypoglycemic agent drugs, which has to be less uh, hypoglycemia, L, uh, no weight gain, maybe even weight loss. They are inexpensive and practical for use and require minor dietary modification. These are the therapies or, or dietary supplement we use. You can look vertically. There are three of them that we focus, or better to say four, because there are two ginseng. One uh, on the left side is Konja glucomannan, coming from Japan, viscous soluble dietary fiber that is extensively used for thousand years, uh, years as food and remedy, I call this God's voice, and many different ways. In the middle, we, we have ginseng display fr uh, coming from Asia and Canada. Ontario is one of the major growers of uh, American ginseng, so-called. Uh, for many years, thousand years used in Asia and hundreds in Canada, elixir of life, cured all, and all these other attributes. On the right side, uh, we have uh, mentioned salva chia, omega-3 seeds uh, originated from Mexico many years ago. They call this running food used by civilization of Aztecs. Let's talk about first one, but before we, uh, we introduce our blend, conjug blend, I have to tell you a little bit about conjug glucomana, which is not well known. Um, and this comes from the plant, this play in the middle, from the root on the plant, showing on the left side after three, four years, when root become uh, a, 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 a certain size, they slice this root, they stamp it, they extract it, fiber out of it, and they, we use as a supplement, as you, we use on, the, on our studies in different products or capsules. On the right side, there is something called konyaku, which is extensively used in Japanese and Chinese cuisine, uh, a gel made out of this powder. So one can see how gel, how this powder can gel well. The more gelling, the more viscous, the more powerful metabolically fiber is, not only this, any fiber. Just to demonstrate this, fiber, soluble viscous fiber is known for their cholesterol lowering effect and I'm showing you brand new data that hasn't been shown before. Actually, one study was published yesterday where we compare number of soluble viscous fiber and cholesterol effect. You can see on the top of the slide, this is showing LDL 
cholesterol reduction per gram of viscous dietary fiber, just to demonstrate that fiber is not fiber, it's gram is not gram. So on the top you can see oat, which obviously have better glucan soluble fiber, that you reduce cholesterol one gram per 0.04. Uh, barley, another famous, uh, uh, if you like, Canadian crop, reduce similarly LDL bit bit more. Guar gum, extensively studied in Europe, 0.05. Psyllium, which is approved by FDA and in Canada, Health Canada, for cholesterol lowering, is, I could say, only 0.3, whereas conja glucomanan is triple this, this uh, effect. And as I said, these are, these are most recent meta-analysis systematic review. Let's uh, talk about uh, viscous fiber that we use. We use as a base conja glucomanan. We learned that if we add xanthan gum, that the viscosity, what is all about uh, when we come to e efficacy, is, is to achieve certain level of viscosity. When we blend these two fibers in a critical uh, quantity, they double or triple viscosity of each individual in ingredient. That's why I put this induced viscosity, which become very powerful. A smaller dose will uh, produce uh, a powerful e effect. So we did three randomized clinical trials. One is in high cardiovascular risk type 2 diabetes, published about 20 years ago. Second one is in pe people with metabolic syndrome, if you like, pre-diabetic condition. And then the third one, we did normal epidemic KGB, the conjugate glucoman and blend, compared with psyllium and wheat brand, which we, I'm not showing these data, uh, KGB half a quantity increased significantly, uh, reduced cholesterol significantly more than psyllium, for example. So this is typical results. Uh, you can see in uh, light green is conjugate glucomanan, KGB, uh, showing re reduction of insulin compared to control glucose, but also fructosamine mean more important long-term glycemic control. And these are beyond medication. All pe people wear a medicine. Uh, on, on LDL, risk factor of cardiovascular disease and blood pressure, you can see again, again light green, a powerful reduction of cholesterol. LDL, which is the most important cholesterol, if you like, it's about 20% lower beyond, beyond lower statin drug, which was used on this study. That was early statin, but still statin drug. And also ratio atherogenic ratio, total to HDL, and systolic blood pressure, small reduction, apple upper pro protein, no, new lipid target also, all beyond lower statin effect. So this is kind of effect display, so what is darker seems that uh, the KGB effect, glucose, hyperinsulinemia, appet appetite and food intake is not showing, but actually uh, this, this uh, fiber is sold actually in Canada and North America for weight regulation, but I'm not showing this data. Knowledge translation, just some. Uh, in, the, in the position statement of the largest dietetic association in the world, American Dietetic Association, they, they talk about use of fiber in reducing postprandial glycemia. And they, uh, they, they say that there are two studies affecting long-term effect. You can see this in green, green uh, frame. And uh, one was Chandali and New England Journal of Medicine, and one is the study that I show you we published in Diabetes Care. So they recognize long-term effect of this conjugate glucoman and blend. Uh, they feature us in newspapers, a lot of people learn. We actually got uh, with uh, our institution a patent on use of viscous fiber on number of what we call Schedule A disease. And you can see on the bottom, if you go in Costco develop, based on our work, uh, material that is widely sold uh, and now we can say almost around the world. This uh, material blend just received uh, last week health claims of Health Canada for, I frame it, this blend for cholesterol lowering and postprandial blood glucose response. So there could be number of new products that will be developed and people can benefit of this. And next kid on the block is called Salva Chia. Uh, Salvi Hispanica, you can see on the left side in the spoon, 95% is black seeds, only some white. Middle show electronic uh, uh, a picture of the seed. Uh, and on the right side, if you don't know what is Salva, you may know what is Chia Pets, which is, was very popular around the world. Uh, and, and this is actually growing from these very powerful seeds, growing such wonderful, wonderful kind of hair, but, but the pet is not edible. Uh, so this is how it looks like we study white variety because we learn compared to 
black variety, which are about 70, 80 varieties, that is more standardized and, and almost, to exaggerate, like a drug compared to food, which could be 20% plus minus general food. I'm just showing you what we published, that supplementation of, on two conventional therapy of novel grain, we call salva, um, effect major and emerging risk factor on the bottom, you can see, was pretty good reduction in blood pressure in diabe diabetic patients on drugs for uh, hypertension, uh, low-grade body inflammation, C-reactive protein, 40% reduction, and this von Willenbrand factor indicate thinning of blood, which is good. Thick blood is not good for atherosclerosis. Uh, we just finished study effect of salva chi on weight loss on overweight in obese diabetic patient. It was a six month study, weight loss, pretty good results, significant reduction of body weight, waist about three, four centimeter uh, shrink. Again, C reactive protein 40%, non LDL related, usually it's related to LDL. Adiponectin related weight loss, also very important thing. It's uh, useful to mention that. Uh, control was old brand and inulin, another soluble fiber that is indicated for this kind of effect. So that's that's pretty good because it was positive control. It's submitted to the journal. This is kind of effect of sal, but you can see more on the right side affecting emerging risk factor, appetite. I'm not showing you this data. We have study blood pressure, hyperinsulinemia, number of other things. Knowledge translation very popular in uh, last year. 2015 in the US that was functional food of the year ingredient with the highest increase in sale in comparison with the, with the, with the year before. One of the, of the best-selling uh, material internationally. One can see effect of the, of the research from this slide. You can see export from chia seeds from Mexico, Salva Chia. You can see on the left side for the last 10 years, there was not much sale, and it uh, was also before. And when, and when our study was published in 2007, they become kind of pretty well exported uh, seeds. So there is impact of research uh, if you publish in a, in a good journal. Uh, uh, the last one I want to talk about, Penang ginseng. Uh, everybody know about ginseng. Uh, we didn't know much. We did first study, self-funded, uh, without support. Nobody want to support us because ginseng is so good that you don't need to do study. You can see on the right side, it's man-like root. So if it's man-like, it's good for men. So let's see what it does. So we did first study, and, and to our surprise, little study not funded, was published in one of the JAMA journal in archives. And you can see on the left side that when one take a glucose drink, these are uh, two upper uh, curves, and then glucose drink with ginseng in type two diabetic, you can see there is lower glucose in the blood whether we take together or 40 minutes before, indicated uh, insulin sec secretion uh, glucose stimulated. And on the right side, you see area on the curve. In both situations, about 20% reduction. That was kind of sensational. That was quite, quite good to see. Uh, next day, there was all around the world in 6,000 press outlets. They sent this information of really tiny, small study and tiny effect actually on glucose lowering, but they, they thought it's important. So American ginseng, we continue. We did long-term study in type 2 diabetes uh, with a special extract. You can see light green, green effect of ginseng, fasting blood plasma glucose reduced significantly. Insulin was increased, not significantly, but indicating mechanism action, which we later proved. So it's secretion of insulin important in, in diabetes because diabetics have not enough insulin in pancreas and reduced hemoglobin A1C. We also see, not shown here, nitric oxide increase in, uh, suggesting vasodilatation. And we also see reduction in systolic diastolic blood pressure. Then we study Korean ginseng. Out of 13 types, we, we come across that these are two better. So this is uh, Korean red. And this is only one result uh, showing on the left, again, light green in ginseng, showing tremendous reduction in blood, postprandial blood glucose after three months administration uh, during oral glucose tolerant test, 75 gram of glucose, reduction of insulin in this patient with diabetes. And on the right side, you can see about 45% increase in insulin sensitivity. So we have one ginseng increase insulin sensitivity, American insulin secretion, which is ideal uh, companion diabetes. So what ginseng does, you can see this, just what I said, uh, regulate in insulin and, and arterial stiffness and arterial function, a number of uh, different features. 
uh, knowledge translation on this, uh, again, American Diabetes Association, which is pretty shy on this kind of treatment, uh, recognize that some herbs may have some effect, and then they say, they give, give credit to our study, the best, best study is American ginseng, they put a couple of our references, which is pretty good. Now, uh, companies are working on, on different products based on our research, diabetes, vascular stress, and all this. We try to slow down because standardization of ginseng is tricky, although we did develop some extract which work more time than less time. Uh, then we start combining, since these therapies have different mechanisms of action, we combine KGB fiber with American ginseng, and another study, American Korean red ginseng, uh, which have opposite but complementary mechanisms of action to see whether there would be some additive effect. This is one of the studies where we com uh, combine fiber and American ginseng in hemoglobin on hemoglobin A1C in type 2 diabetes, 12-week uh, study. You can see with very low uh, hemoglobin 7, which is ideally controlled, this combination therapy uh, improve hemoglobin significantly, put to 6.5, which is on the borderline of normal. Uh, uh, with respect to lipids, also LDL was reduced with this combination, probably due to powerful fiber effect. So I'm not showing other study in interest of time. So we come now back to our, our kind of uh, uh, drawing board. You can see number of these risk factors around diabetes mellitus, and you can see that each of these individual therapies and, and combined, they have certain color, and you can see that pretty much all around circle, we touch or affect or reduce or improve with one or two of these uh, therapies. So thanks to this optimistic view, again, preliminary data, we just embark on the, on the uh, study, co-administration of all four complementary medicine. We call this study FIGHT, Fiber, Grain, uh, uh, Herbs, Trial, and we're doing this in Toronto, University of Zagreb, Croatia, where I'm from. Um, so basically, to be more optimistic that individual and in combination, uh, due to the effect uh, listed on the top of this slide, we will have eventually something called does it all. It may take about 20 years, but we are working hard on this kind of concept. Let's try to summarize the significance of our work. We feel that we are developing supplement to be used in management of Schedule A disease, where one of them is diabetes, vascular health, blood pressure, etc. beyond medicines. Could be added to conventional medication and we can see still some effect. Uh, our therapies are combined and they are multi-target, which we working title called as it all. Uh, has been uh, noticed by health agency, American Diabetes, American Dietetic, uh, Canadian Diabetes, some European agency. Um, uh, our research could be uh, made into products, so there is a translational research knowledge uh, uh, aspect of this. Fiber that we work on, conjunct glucomannan, is proprietary patented. It developed new feature in fiber, uh, viscous fiber could induce viscosity, small quantity can do a pretty good job. Ginseng, we were able to, over the last 20 years to develop some extracts, so it means that the uh, effect could be repeated of American, Korean, and some called RG3 designer ginseng developed in Korea for our research. Salva Chia is a new kid on the block of seeds, promising therapy in diabetes, obesity, and cardiovascular risk. We feel that with this we advocate for nutrition use in uh, treatment of disease and um, well, and so University of Toronto and St. Michael potential worldwide may be developing Canadian brand. Thank you very much.